I think in December of 2023, uh, um, we had put a policy in place, essentially uh, disallowing someone from uh, making public comment as a proxy for another person. Uh, and in one of the uh, book challenges that we had, uh, that, that was called into question. And quite frankly, uh, that being so new, I was a little bit ambiguous about how that went. So when you're ambiguous on anything involving legal matters, you ask an attorney. <laughs> so Ms. Davis has given us some guidance uh, about this. So again, we're, this is a discussion. It's not really anything other than um, so that we can clarify our understanding and if need be adjust the policy. So uh, Ms. Davis. The pertinent part of the policy that was cited, um, what, and I'm gonna read specifically, um, is that an individual cannot speak on another individual's behalf. And the specific situation and, and situations that were encountered at our last board meeting had some, there were multiple multiple different uh, types of issues. So one of the things that in trying to get at what the board I think intended, and again, this is up to you, you don't have to modify the policy, um, but I think the fact that the works that you're referring to is cited is important because then it get, gives the board the ability to go fact check it and verify it. So one of the things that I, I was saying to insert in lieu of that, or to say an individual cannot speak on another individual's behalf. However, a speaker may cite or present the works, words or works of another individual, organization or agency, as long as the speaker cites the name of the work, the name of its creator, and provides the board with a copy of the work or with a full citation of where the entire work can be located so that that gives the board the authority to reference it. 